Hey everyone, thanks again for tuning in to our next episode of In the Town Tuesdays. I'm your girl, Renee the Realtor. Today I'm here with Tim McCoy and Primo Hoagies. I'm very excited for this interview. So I'll just give you the floor. You can tell us a little bit about yourself and briefly about your business. Absolutely. I'm originally from Orlando, Florida. Oh wow. My name's Tim McCoy. I'm the owner of Primo Hoagies here in Ewing, uh, off of Scotch Road. Uh, I moved here a while back ago. Um, two years ago, I bought this location. Me mm -hmm. and another family member actually got approached by um, the corporate store. Oh, wow. Yep. So he was approached by them because he had two other stores. This came up on the market. So we decided mm -hmm. to jump in. He also knew a little bit about my background and some of the things that I had going on with uh, mm -hmm. had some skin cancer health concerns. Okay. So being a contractor down there, I was in the sun a lot. Mm -hmm. So I wanted to get out of the sun. He thought of me, this store needed renovating. So we joined forces together. We bought the location and everything's been going great since. Wow. So I really can't complain with everything. Okay. So that's a little bit about me. You know, mm -hmm. Primo Hoagies is a, is a franchise. A lot of people probably have um, seen us, tasted our uh, hoagies before. I have. <laughs> and they are amazing. They are very good. <laughs> yes, ma'am. Okay, so that kind of gets into kind of why you opened the business here. For sure. Um, you did mention it is a franchise. Yes, ma'am. And they actually approached you because I was going to ask, how was it kind of doing the franchising? Like, What was that process like for you guys? Absolutely. It was a little difficult. It's not super easy to go through those processes, mm -hmm. but um, the corporate office is very willing to help you out and give you the keys to success, mm -hmm. you know? Um, they work with you in every process, you know, with setting you up with vendors and so on and so forth. So it's really, okay. um, you know, they have it sought out for you to succeed, you know. Mm -hmm. So it's a great, I would say it's a great um, company to go and move forward with, you know. Okay, that's good. Yes, right. ma'am. Because I was thinking, you know, maybe you're kind of just left out there. You kind of look, okay, I'm going to this franchise and you don't get a lot of help. So that's very reassuring to hear that you do get a lot of help from the corporate office. Absolutely. They're very hands on, you know, with marketing, with a lot of things, you know, they show you the ins and outs and, you mm -hmm. know, what, when you do marketing, what it's hitting and how you're getting an effect and your return on your investment. Oh, so okay. a lot of things, um, you know, they're there to work with you so you can mm -hmm. succeed. So kind of like coaching. Well, so Absolutely. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Well, that's kind of cool. That's yep. actually reassuring to hear. For sure. I've thought about franchise before. I'm like, well, didn't get any help from them. So <laughs> it's kind of cool to hear that they do provide that for you. Absolutely. Yes, ma'am. And you did mention your brother had two other locations. Where are the other locations? One of the locations is Newtown, okay. um, Pennsylvania or whatever. Mm -hmm. That's still up and running. And then the other one is Doylestown, Pennsylvania. Okay. So those are both running strong, you know, great uh, people there. Right. I have uh, other family members that work at both those locations. So all good stuff. You know, we are hoping to maybe expand even further and things like that. But, okay. uh, you know, our hands are tied to a certain extent with the corporation and things like that. And okay. being hands on and making the store right. run properly, for example, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. we don't want to run ourselves too thin, if that makes sense. Understood. That does make sense. Because I know being an entrepreneur is a lot of work. It's just for me and I don't have a whole primo hoagie, so... <laughs> I understand that that could be a lot of work. Yes, ma'am. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. So you said it wasn't really a difficult process. You're originally from Florida. Yes, ma'am. How do you like being in the Ewing area? Honestly, I love the Ewing community. You know, it was really good to come here. Um, I moved here without my wife and two kids. So I was solo. Yeah. Um, that was a little difficult. You know, mm -hmm. one of the hardest things I've done, you know, to be away from my family because family right. is a lot, right. of course. Um, but in the Ewing area, everybody was really um, embraced me, you know, and I made a lot of new friends, a lot of new customers and things like that that we talked okay. to. They ask about the kids and, hey, did they graduate Aww. and things? So I really love the Ewing community here. Mm -hmm. I don't think necessarily in another area that I would have strived and been so mm -hmm. good at it, you know, for example, and people coming back to me and um, showing me that gratification and saying you can really tell when someone cares only made me want to keep going and right. move forward, mm -hmm. you know, with business here right. and embracing the community as a business, you mm -hmm. know, and trying to help out in uh, sponsorships with TC&J, 
um, the high school football team at Ewing oh, High. Wow. You know, yeah. we try and be very hands on in those aspects uh -huh. too because they've embraced me. You right, know, right. when I was down, for example, they helped me out. Uh -huh. So uh -huh. it's been a blessing, you know, to be here, and I'm glad to be part of the Ewing community. Right. You know, and glad to call this place my new home. Your new home, right? Yes, yeah. ma'am. That's good to hear. I love you, and I always think that it's. A small community kind of overlooked sometimes. It's very sure. close knit. I feel like everybody gets along very well in this community, especially when it comes to like helping the other um, businesses in the community and schools as well. Um, I've interviewed a few people who have done things like sponsorships and stuff like that. So yep. it's very good for things like that. So I'm glad that you found a new home here. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> for sure. And everybody's amazing. You know, I've met several people at Ewing High, you know athletic directors um i know his name's kyle i'm not sure of mm -hmm. his last name you know but everyone that i've ever talked to um about sponsoring and things like that mm -hmm. you know tc and j we're about to do a golf outing okay. um for them you know robin is the lady that i'm discussing that stuff with um new jersey state troopers are in here literally every day 10 uh -huh. plus <laughs> you know officers a day we sponsored their car show Okay. Um, they gave me, you know, some merch and some things oh, like wow. that or whatever, but they come in all the time. You know, I have a very close relationship with Matt Sullivan. Uh -huh. You know, he's a, one of the helicopter pilots over yeah. here. Uh -huh. So, you know, I really love this community and uh -huh. love the people and really, you know, worked with everybody in, in different businesses uh -huh. and stuff to make it succeed. All right. So you've really been able to fit in here. So you say that's part of what motivates you to keep going in this community with this job. Absolutely. hundred percent. My family is my number one motivator, yeah. obviously. And then seeing that I'm making a difference in the UE community mm -hmm. is amazing because where I moved from is Orlando, Florida, which is a very big town. It's big. <laughs> so I don't want to say you're a small fish in a big pond, but Right here, I feel like I'm a big fish right. in a small pond, necessarily. Right, right, right. And I see the difference that I'm making, and that's, that's amazing. Uh -huh. And yes, it's definitely rewarding and wants me to keep going and moving forward uh -huh. with things, you okay. know? And saying that, what would be some of the challenges you think you had setting this venture? I think the big challenge is rising costs of everything, you uh, know, the minimum yeah. wage being higher, um, cost of goods constantly rising with uh -huh. supply and demand uh -huh. you know Especially and trying a couple of years absolutely and then trying to be in that certain price point where it's not too expensive but you're still getting that quality product for a good price right, you know right, right. i don't want to put it too far out of reach where people aren't going to come here and so uh -huh. on and so forth because it definitely is more of a quality product it and is. when you buy it and you eat these sandwiches you will understand that but it's hard to bite off you know, right. that, that price tag sometimes, you right, know, right. when you're on a budget, which is understandable, uh -huh. you know? That's very true. I think with everything, the rising price has been a difficulty for all business owners, especially in the past couple of years, um, trying to make sure that you stay at the right point, price point for your goods and your services, no matter what industry you're in. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Yes, ma'am. So that that's a good challenge. I have that challenge as well. <laughs> for sure. Uh, so what is your favorite item on the menu? My particular favorite item, I like the crusher. Okay. And that's, that's a Cooper Sharp, uh -huh. pepper turkey, and then pepper shooters on it. Ooh. You know? So that's nice. one of my favorites. <laughs> Honestly, when I moved here from Florida, I wasn't a big turkey eater. Okay. But different meats, different quality this things. This product. Uh -huh. um, that pepper turkey is one of my favorite meats. Yeah, you know, I, it's very good. I, I usually eat that one twice, three times a week, you know, okay. sometimes I'll switch it up and throw in some different meats in there, you know, uh -huh. um, as a change up, for example, but overall that's, that's my go-to, you know, okay. that and chicken. That, yeah. <laughs> right. Can't go wrong with chicken, right? Yes, <laughs> that's good. So what would you say? I know you talked a little bit about what do you think the future will hold for you and for your business? I know you've been two years here now. Yes, ma'am. Maybe possibly opening another one. It's very well possible, you know, open another franchise or I might look at a different business in the Ewing area because uh -huh. I really like this community, for example, um, you know, and I don't know if another business would come up where I could step into that, promote it with right. this business and then, you know, enhance that business, for example. So okay. I'm looking into different options, mm -hmm. you know, um, I plan on being here 
10 plus years, you know, well, calling, that's this, good to hear. Yeah. Yep, <laughs> calling this my home for 10 plus years. And then maybe I'll retire somewhere, hopefully, yes, you know, if yes. the cards are played right. But, um, you know, other businesses in the area, staying here, promoting this and seeing what I can do more for the community right, here yeah. is basically okay. what I'm interested in doing in my future okay. here. You know, do you think maybe the family will come up this side or? I don't think my kids will, you okay. know, I think my kids are probably have their own ventures that they want to go on. My son's probably joining the military soon. Okay. My daughter's in her second year of college. So okay. they kind of have their stuff set up. Right. My wife is here, you know, with okay. me. She works, um, okay. you know, in the store as a cashier yeah, uh -huh. Monday through Friday, okay. you know, so that's a good, good thing as well, yeah. you know, because <laughs> she's here to help me and stuff yeah. like that, running the business that's and big. another set of eyes on things, you uh -huh. know, um, so everything's good with that. But I think the kids will probably stay, you know, down in Florida Backward. or whatever they want to do. Right. I mean, the doors are open, obviously, <laughs> right, for right, them right. to come here and help us out as well. Uh -huh. Do they come visit? Yes. Okay. Actually, my the daughter, airport right here, so it's like pretty easy. So convenient. Yeah. I love the Trent <laughs> Airport here. You know, Frontier's amazing. Yeah. I deal with them briefly a lot. You uh -huh. know, Enterprise. You know, I know a lot of the officers that okay. You know, are stationed over there because they come here for lunch because we're so close. Right. Um, but yes, the flights are very easy. Yeah. From Orlando or uh -huh. my daughter's in Fort Lauderdale, so. Either Very one of those, yeah, uh -huh. you know, and my daughter was actually here last weekend. So, oh, wow. <laughs> you know, she came yeah. up Friday night and flew uh -huh. all Monday night, yep. you know, so we got a couple of nights with uh -huh. her, ate some dinners, you know, yeah, hung out Monday nice. a little bit. And then, you know, she got on a flight uh -huh. and went home and she's got her own career right, and right. job do down there, thing. full time yeah, job. Yeah. So. so my parents are actually in Florida, so I do the same thing, like opposite. Like I go see them and then I come back here. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. So the Trenton Airport is actually definitely very convenient for sure so use it if you never have <laughs> yes exactly <laughs> so in terms of marketing i know you guys have prima hoagies ewing website like kind of where can people find you yeah i believe we have an instagram page mm -hmm. i don't know how set up it is okay. i'm working with the marketing department and my other manager here uh -huh. to work on that so we can keep spreading the word and promoting right. you know uh -huh. um primo hoagies.com ewing location is probably the easiest way okay um we do have third party uh, sites that we deliver through like Grubhub, okay. Uber Eats and DoorDash. Uh -huh. So that's another option to try and reach us. Yeah. I don't believe we have a Facebook page, but I'm not sure on that one. You okay. know, like I said, I'm getting more into the marketing right. as we go. Yeah. Um, and they've been nothing but useful information uh -huh. for me um, building on that. So overall, those I think are the areas where you could probably reach us, okay. you know, or see us type of deal. Mm -hmm. um, and then obviously, we have some signs out there. Yeah. You know, you can always um, come to the location. <laughs> yep, absolutely. And then, you know, menus and we're trying to do some magnet, fridge magnets and things okay, like that. Awesome. Just, you know, stacking on top of marketing and things like that to promote the business. Perfect. And then once we're done with the interview, you'll have a Park Bench Prima Hoagies website too, so people can see you there. Awesome. That'd <laughs> be right? great. Thank you. Yes, no problem. Well, thank you again. This has been wonderful. Absolutely. Thank you for um, your time as yes. well. <laughs> thank you. So please. Come to Primo Hoagies. It's actually has been one of my favorite spots for a while here in Ewing. I like always just have a Primo Hoagie sandwich. So definitely awesome. come check us out. Check them out. You can check me out at Renee Stewart on Instagram, Renee Stewart on Facebook. You can visit our Park Bench website for me as well. Also, Renee Stewart on YouTube. Thanks again. <laughs> Thank you. Have a great day. We'll see you soon.